All right, welcome back. Well, it's been a hell of a run, but after two years of avoiding it, by doing everything that I can to avoid it, my luck had finally run out and I have caught the coof. So I was forced to take time off, whether I wanted to or not, so please allow me some extra time to get caught up on things. I am mostly better, however, I am still exhausted. I'm very tired. So also forgive me if I cut this short because I really don't feel like doing this right now, but I feel like I needed to let you know what's going on. Again, I'm fine, but for a few days there, it was pretty rough and dicey. But I've gotten over it pretty quickly, um, almost as fast as Joe Rogan. <laughs> but that's only because of the supplements and medication that I was taking. So the first day, I felt it coming on. And I felt it within my lungs, but as the day went on, that was surpassed by the absolute headache that I was getting, which by the second day was the worst headache I've had since I quit caffeine. And that was really the worst part, probably of the entire thing. The headache was brutal. Uh, but I took the free COVID rapid test that they were giving out, you know, a while back. And so I took one of those and it came up positive, but the line was so very faint that you could hardly even see it unless you put it up under a light. So I'm thinking, well, is this really positive or is it a false positive? I just don't know. So I decided to go in the next day to the urgent care and get tested. And of course, yes, it came back positive. And so they called me in a prescription for Paxlovid. Now, I was already taking supplements, you know, the standard vitamin D, vitamin C, some NAC, zinc, all the usual stuff you're supposed to take for it, which helped. They, they did. But the Paxlovid prescription, I firmly believe, kept me out of the hospital because my lungs were getting pretty wheezy before the medicine really kicked in. Now, a lot of people may not even know of Paxlovid because it's pretty new, but it's the COVID pill that is for people of high risk and is said to reduce your chance of hospitalization and even death by up to 90%. Because what it does is it disrupts the virus's ability to replicate in the body so that it just stops spreading, which as a beta tester, essentially, I have to say it's worked fairly well. My headache had subsided by the second day, and by the third day I was feeling a lot better, although I was pretty sore from all the previous coughing, and I was still tired and had a slight fever. My fever at one point was just shy of 101, but after a few days on Paxlovid, it had broken and hasn't gone up since. And no, I'm not getting sponsored by Pfizer to say this. I'm only telling you from my first-hand experience that it works. I know a lot of people have their aversions of the pharmaceutical companies, but I myself am not against modern medicine because modern medicine has saved my life numerous times, this being the latest. But they don't give Paxlovid out to just anyone. You do have to qualify. You have to be at least 12 years of age, weigh over 88 pounds, have good kidneys, because it is a bit stressful on the kidneys. You have to have at least one condition that makes you high risk for hospitalization if you catch the coof. And you have to get it within the first five days of experiencing symptoms, preferably in the first three, because if you don't, then it may not work. And they're just not going to give it to you then, because your viral load by that point will be too high. So the COVID pill is great news for those with pre-existing conditions that put them at high risk, but the catch is you have to get it early. So if you feel anything coming on that you're suspicious of, you need to get tested right away so that you can get the medicine right away. You cannot put it off. So it's a good idea to have some of those rapid test kits at home. That way, if you feel like you're coming down with something, you can test yourself at home like I did. And then follow that up with the trip to the urgent care or pharmacy where you can get a quick test and a prescription. Now, they've just given pharmacies authorization to prescribe Paxlovid to those who qualify also, but I know the ones around here haven't gotten the memo yet because they're still requiring a prescription. 
Also, not all pharmacies carry it. There are only select pharmacies that do carry it. CVS was the only one listed on the government site and in the urgent cares database as having it. And it wasn't the closest one either. But Walgreens ended up having it after I called and asked to make sure, see if they had it. So it pays to check and see if your pharmacy has it first so you can tell them where to send your prescription into. And that's really the big takeaway from this video is that I know it helped me and it may help somebody else out there stay out of the hospital as well. I didn't catch it for all these years. I only caught it after this COVID pill is now available. So perhaps somebody needs to hear this out there so they know that this is an option for them if they feel like they're coming down with it. So after I got tested, I got on social media after and said that I was COVID positive. And of course, everybody on my Mind and Magic pages were very supportive. But the ones on my personal accounts were very, how should I put it, loving kicking someone when they're down. I had one guy try to argue with me that COVID isn't even real. How can they test you for COVID if it isn't real, man? It's just the flu. I told him if he wants to drop by, I could prove it to him that it's not the flu. He may have to wait for the incubation period, though. The only way it wouldn't is if he's never had the flu before. Because I've had the flu, and this was not the flu. But of course, he just scoffed at it and just kept wanting to argue. And it's like, is this what he does? He just goes around arguing with people who have COVID, that they don't have COVID, that it doesn't exist. I mean, how ridiculous is that? So I had to let him know that I wasn't interested in arguing over and over on a point he was never going to convince me of while I wasn't feeling so well. He's obviously evaded catching it this entire time as well, because if he had caught it, he wouldn't be going around saying it isn't real. He's just expressing an opinion that isn't even his own because it's not even based on firsthand experience. I mean, how insane do you have to be to go around telling people who have COVID that they don't have COVID? I don't like to insult people's intelligence, but I mean, that's pretty bad. Then I had this other fool who said, well, it looks like your Darth Vader mask didn't protect you now, did it? Big shock. And do you see how people just try to dump on you? Like immediately. I mean, all I did was post COVID positive. That's it. And those are the kind of responses that I get. Well, I had to let him know that the mask does work. It's kept me from catching it for two years. Even while being in the hospital surrounded by COVID patients. But it's not going to work when I don't wear it at home. See, I caught it from my girlfriend. She had a really bad headache for like two, three days in a row. But she didn't have any other symptoms which tells me she didn't really breathe it in. She must have got it off of a surface or something because she did have her stomach bothering her. So she was having some kind of like stomach intestinal discomfort, but the headache was the really big thing. And I jokingly said, well, it may be a COVID headache, not really expecting it to be that, but that's exactly what it turned out to be. Because then I came down with the same headache just a couple days later, but mine was accompanied with an attack on my lungs, which I'm still coughing up stuff. And my muscles are killing me when I cough. But I had spoken with the doctor today and gotten some muscle relaxers for that. So I am going to sleep good tonight. So I am recovering. It is on its way out. I just need to finish my course of medicine, finish my quarantine, and just get back to it and try to get caught up on things. Especially the yard work. It's getting to look like a jungle out there now. There was no magic done for this one because I really couldn't. I was in no shape or condition to do any magic. The headache came on fast, swiftly, and strong. And let me tell you, it's debilitating. I had to stop doing all work just because of that alone. And there's nothing I dislike more than having to just lay around and not do anything. But I couldn't, and that included magic. So it was all pharmacia on this one. And thankfully they had just what I needed at the time that I needed it. Because I didn't even know they had the COVID pill yet. I think my girlfriend heard of it first. And then I looked it up. And that's why I think that a lot of people listening to this may not even know about it. So I do want you to be aware that it exists. And that's about it. 
Sorry, I didn't have any other lessons or anything planned, but all I've been able to do lately is sleep and recover, and I'm just now getting back to things. I want to thank you all for your well wishes and support, and I will see you soon. Take care.